Hey there, today we're going to learn how to create factor variables in R, and as you'll see, factor variables are necessary when you're conducting a whole wide range of statistical tests, including an ANOVA, which we're going to show you an example of. So let's start by just going ahead and creating a simple vector with a factor variable. We're going to just call it height, and here's the code for it. And very easy, you can see didn't do anything really complicated here, um, just created a variable consisting of short, medium, and tall. And R kind of spat that back out to you in alphabetical order here. That's what they did. Of course, that's not super helpful, right? So why don't we go ahead and create an actual data frame and motivate it with an example so you can see why factor variables are important. Um, I'm going to create this data frame, and then let's kind of talk our way back through it. I have 30 subjects here. Um, the factor variable is I'm just calling it status and let's say it's single, married, and divorced, and satisfaction levels. So let's say this is a test that we gave to 30 people, and maybe we want to understand the relationship between marital status and general satisfaction levels. If you want, you can kind of see my code here too, if you want to learn how to imitate it. Uh, I just created sort of what R calls reps. Um, so just 10 reps, as you can see, of single, and then married, and then divorced. And then I created this uh, satisfaction variable, just normally distributed. Um, didn't really have an agenda there, just wanted to show you what that looks like. My key uh, point here is I want to show you why this factor variable is so important. Let's say that we wanted to do, um, let's say that we wanted to go ahead and do an ANOVA on this. And this is what we say over here. Right. So let's say that we wanted to understand satisfaction as a uh, as an outcome of marital status. In order to do that, you need this variable here after the tilde status. You need that to be a factor variable. So if you don't know how to create factor variables for your data, you won't be able to run um, an ANOVA or, um, or do anything of that kind. I'm just going to highlight this for you here. That's just going to show you the basic syntax for an ANOVA. The first variable here that comes after AOV, that's the continuous variable. After the tilde, that's your factor variable. And then, you know, you specify where the data are coming from. And I went ahead and I named that data frame DF. And then, of course, you can do a bunch of other stuff. I also did a two-key HSD test um, right after the ANOVA. My point here in this tutorial is not to show you the ANOVA or the two-key, although you can look at my code here, and um, there's other stuff on bridge text where you can actually do those. It's just to remind you that you need to be able to create factor variables, right? And so it's this word here, factor, that we put just before we create that variable that tells R that, hey, this is a factor variable, and once you have that in place, then you can do stuff like run ANOVAs.